Hi. Today I'm going to show you how to write your first paragraph with paper pal. As most of y'all, even I have faced writer's block. I have done all my reading. I have read enough. All the literature review has been done. The ideas are there in my head, but I'm not very sure how to transfer all these ideas into the paper in a very coherent prose. So that is when, let's say, I use paper pal to start writing, write the first sentence and then expand that first sentence to get a complete paragraph. For example, my topic is the role of estrogen receptors in prostate cancer. So I have written my first sentence in a very crude way. The sentence reads like the estrogen receptors are important in prostate cancer as they have multiple pathways and affect cancer spread in various ways. Well, this in no way is a very formal sentence, but let's see how we can leverage our ideas, certain keywords and a very crude informal sentence into a complete paragraph. First of all, I'll select the entire text and with this option, I'm going to make it academic. So what make academic does is it will take in the input text and formalize it, thereby conferring a very formal tone that can be used in academic publications. And you can see here, estrogen receptors play a significant role as they are involved in multiple pathways and contribute to various ways. That's a very good alternative. So I'm going to replace the original informal and crude sentence with paper pals generated formal sentence, a formal alternative. Once this is done, what I can do is I can use the write feature of paper pal. And what write does is very interesting. So write will take in the context of the existing text and then write the next sentence for you, which is why you can see it says skip writing, right? So once I have my first sentence, first formal sentence, I can use write. And with write, there are multiple options. You can either expand upon. So what I want to do is expand on this first sentence, right? So I'm going to use that feature. Expand on the previous text. Say that estrogen receptors in prostate cancer have complicated signaling mechanism. Because in my head, that is the next sentence that I want to write after this first one. So let me see how Write can use it. So rather than simply clicking upon expand without giving it any directionality or a very specific context, I gave it some input context. And let us see what it has given us. Estrogen receptors in prostate cancer have a complicated signaling mechanism that is not yet fully understood. A significant research has been done. This is a good one. So I'm just going to copy it. I'm going to paste here for now. So with write, you get three alternatives for every generation. So let us check the second one. Present a complicated signaling mechanism as the involvement in multiple pathways. All right. This is more or less similar like the first one, but slightly shorter. I'm going to paste it here as well. Let's check the last one. This one mentions, let's say, more specific terms like cell growth, survival, and angiogenesis. Very interesting. So I'm going to place it over here. So as you can see, I began with a very crude, a very general statement over here. And I have three different alternatives. And this one seems very interesting to me because it also mentions what different signaling pathways are also could be involved in prostate cancer. So I'm going to take that one. And what I can also do is basically use the, the other two options to actually build upon or modify this particular sentence. But for now, for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to use it as is. But here's the thing. Since this is generated by the AI inside PaperPal, I need to verify that this is actually a scientifically accurate statement. So how do I do that? At Voila, I have research feature over here. So with research, I can ask a question and it will give me a scientifically backed answer or a summary with relevant references. Now I'm not going to frame a question. I'm just going to say prostate cancer and angiogenesis. Let me see what happens if I simply paste this particular statement and see what references I can fetch. So instead of this, ra uh, rather than directly pasting the statement, I could also frame it like what, is, what are the role of prostate cancer? What are the signaling pathways in prostate cancer that along the line of cell growth or survival or angiogenesis? You, know, you, can, you are free to frame your questions as per your requirement, depending on what is the question that you wish to get an answer for. And here you go. So what research does is research basically uses a sister product of PaperPal called as R Discovery, which has over 250 million plus papers. 
it will go through all those papers, identify the context based on my question, and identify the papers that are relevant to the question, and then fetch the answer. First, provide a summary, and along with the summary, also give me a list of references. So let us see, prostate cancer indeed exhibits a complex signaling mechanism. All right, so I have prostate cell proliferation and survival, and the statement comes from this paper. What I can do is I can do a quick review of the paper. Well, the abstract, based on the abstract alone, it seems that it is relevant to prostate cancer. I see mention of prostate cells, AI receptors, uh, uh, proliferation and survival. All right. This seems like a good enough reference, trustworthy. But again, I can't be very sure. So I'm going to retain this particular reference by clicking this add to library option. So what it does is it will add this particular paper into my citation library right over here so that once I'm done with my writing bit, I can go ahead and read the full paper and then take a decision whether the paper is actually relevant for me. So for now, it seems good enough. So I'm going to retain that. All right. The androgen receptors play a pivotal role. It also mentions something else about a compound called genistein, which is not needed. Okay, here I have prostate cancer and VEGF, which is involved in angiogenesis, which is correct. All right, so all in all, this seems like a very good place to start. So I have enough content over here to actually expand upon the original text. So what I can do perhaps is I will take this statement over here. This seems like something that is relevant for me because I've mentioned about angiogenesis and VEGF is involved in angiogenesis. So the next statement could be additionally, and because this is directly an AI generated statement, I'm going to make some changes such that the state, the sentence has my personal tone angiogenesis. This is not needed because I know for a fact that angiogenesis is a critical pathway. Okay. This seems good enough. And if you're not happy with the original sentence, or if you say, if you're unable to identify or make sense of the original sentence, what I can quickly do is maybe use rewrite or paraphrase. Let me see what can be paraphrased. So with paraphrase, I only have to select the sentence that needs to be paraphrased. And let me click on generate. The impact of AR signaling on wedge of expression. Okay, this seems good. So perhaps I'll replace this. The citation is left intact. And this is how basically I can use, let's say a very crude sentence coming directly from my head, make it formal and then have the right feature of paper pal provide the next sentence for me, which can be used as the seed for my literature review, literature search, basically using the research feature. And then I can expand this entire process and then write my first paragraph with paper pal. 